All right, gonna give you a demo of my van. Of course, it is bright as can be outside, and I don't know how well you're gonna see all this. So, temporary door insulation. Didn't really have anything else I could do with the doors at the time, <clears throat> but I wanted to stop the wind. You know, normal doorstep, come in, right there where that uh, little toolbox, whatever you want to call it is, there'll be a uh, auxiliary battery compartment with a seat over it, of course. Uh, you can see there the outside of the bathroom. I just put up a temporary piece of uh, wallboard there just to plug the hole until I'm finished. You come in, you see the galley. So, this long, tall piece here is the wardrobe. <clears throat> there will be a piece of thread all at the back top, obviously to hang clothes. I've got this really neat uh, box I found at Home Depot that actually folds down. It's kind of like a milk crate. It takes up pretty much the whole space. I can put books, all kinds of stuff. Pretty neat, pretty happy with that. Uh, next space over, where you, I currently have a six gallon water jug. Unfortunately, it's about a quarter of an inch too wide. I can't fit two of them, so I'm gonna have to change to those square blue ones. Uh, I'll lose a gallon, have to go down to five gallons, but yeah, whatever. Uh, so there'll be two there, one for fresh water, one for gray water. Directly above that is the sink. Uh, not done yet, obviously. Um, the sink will be, if you see this post here, right in the center. So, this guy there in the middle. He is going to be a wall. That's why you see a st uh, stud member that goes across the floor. It's going to be the wall to what is currently, you see this Home Depot bucket there. Um, that's going to be the cooler area. I'm using a, uh, a uh, cooler instead of a refrigerator because it doesn't require any electricity at all. No propane, no nothing. And the type of cooler I'm getting um, is capable of keeping ice for 10 days. So, pretty nice cooler. I'm gonna step up here, it's probably gonna be shaky. Let's see how well I can do. So, you come up, sink will be here. It will have a, obviously you'll have a countertop. My fingers are, the countertop will be mostly this section. There'll be a bowl on this side with a drain. Probably somewhere in here. And there's gonna be a hand pump faucet. Uh, I don't want to have to rely on electricity any more than possible, so you know you pump the thing for 10 seconds to get a minute of water flow. Uh, pretty simple. Uh, I'm gonna move this out of the way. I put up a couple small pieces of wood across the back. It's not very big, about five inches deep, four inches deep or so, but it'll be a nice little shelf, and I do mean little. Uh, this guy here, there's a big mess because I got tools everywhere. This is the pantry. Now, it looks like just a big mess right now. There's not actually going to be shelving. I'm going to have styles on both sides that are full extension. And it's going to just pull out. The whole thing's going to pull out. It'll come out into the aisle. And I will have access to all my food. Now, this guy right at top. So you see this single member that goes all the way across this top piece. That whole thing, and it's the entire depth of the the galley, of course, until the uh, fiberglass roof uh, curves down. That's all gonna be for minor clothing. So socks, underwear, t-shirts, um, any small items like that. Now, this part up here is a complete mess still. The overhead of my cab, where this green fiber stuff is, that's what I use down there for the doors to temporarily insulate them. There is going to be, I actually found a 12 volt microwave. It is in the UK, so I'm gonna have to buy it and bring it over. Um, it's gonna go in the middle, right hand side, and left hand side will be storage or other things. I'm really not sure about that yet. I haven't fully made up my mind yet. Now, <clears throat> coming overhead of the double doors as you walk in. Now this is, I'm getting tight for space, so I'm gonna really try to get this going here. There's gonna be another small storage space. If you see that square hole right there, that's gonna be my BMI, my battery management information system. So it'll have 
battery monitoring, things like that. And there is this, what is currently quite dangerous because that has bashed my head several times. Uh, it will be directly over this seat that's gonna be there. It's not there yet. And it's storage. And it's storage that is accessible from inside the bathroom. Here is the bathroom, which is just a storage bin at the moment because I haven't finished it. So, you got the bathroom here. You sit in there, but your feet sit out here. So it actually gives a lot more space. Uh, you have access to that little storage space right there. Pretty nice little storage space. You know, everything counts. And you can see the overhead storage here. And I've already got one of my uh, Teton bags up there because I don't need two of them anymore. Uh, just got some random junk up there, but it's, it's a big space. Now we come to the bed, which I'm getting a lot of glare from that crap in the back, so bear with me. <clears throat> my whole Temper Peaks in there, this entire bottom is going to be a pass through, which is quite nice. Uh, all I did with the Temper Peak is I cut 10 inches off the bottom and moved that 10 inches. It's actually over here along this edge. And then I took a, which was a pretty crappy memory foam topper, cut it to fit the rest and it's underneath that side. That's my, one of my zero degree sleeping bags. So sleep in here, I've got flannel sheet, then I've got a thermal blanket and then this big brown fuzzy blanket, which is uh, uh, pretty heavy. Gets real cold, toss my zero degree sleeping bag over me just like a comforter and I'm, I'm not cold at all in any way. Um, you can, I'm gonna try to see here, the glare is really bad. You can see the drop down ceiling. That white stuff on the wall is the recycled PVC wall board that's a 16th of an inch thick. Uh, my curtains are kind of folded back. I can actually see through almost 100% of the back doors, the windows when I'm driving, so it's pretty nice. Uh, I'm actually gonna cover these lowered ceilings here with that white PVC. Uh, I have yet to put the cabinet doors on the back two pieces, and I'm gonna cover all of this raised ceiling here, this raised section, with the white PVC board as well. I'm really enjoying that stuff. It works fantastic. So now we're gonna go out, try not to be too shaky, and I'm gonna give you just a quick look at the back. I'm running low on time here. YouTube only likes 10 minute videos, and I'm already at eight minutes. So come to the back real quickly, show you this. That's the door with the vents on it. That will still be the door with the vents on it that goes to the battery container, battery box. So here in the back, you can see what I did with these doors and man the glares it, it's so bright today I'll Try to Pan back and give you a better view without the Sun getting to me. You can see the bed You can see under the bed Right now it's full of junk of course because I'm still building on it, but you can see it's a large space it Goes all the way side to side <clears throat> And it's 50 inches deep by the entire width of the van. Uh, a very large pass through. I actually put two by fours all the way through to that. Well, two by threes and my two by twos. And yeah, so that's about it. That's at current my van and until I get the rest of it done. So nice little shot in here. You can see into the van and farewell.